Side, you are back with comedian Dave Boyle, and I'm quitting alcohol. So, the fucking Indians got me last night. They got me fucking good. I've been shitting and throwing up all fucking day. I just went through fucking Mexico eating street food, fucking nothing. Not even the runs or anything, just fucking fine. I have one fucking chicken tikka masala and a lamb curry, and I'm fucking out. Even last night, I was fucked. Doing the podcast last night, I have no idea how I did that, because I was lying in bed, just feeling fucked. I thought it was from the darts, though, because at the bar we were sitting at, I was just chaffing down fucking, like, dart after dart. I had, like, six darts in about an hour, and I thought it was that. I thought I was just fucking dart poisoned. But I wake up this morning, late, like 10.30, I'm fucked, I like I can't even move. Every time I move, I just feel fucking nauseous. I can feel the curry just sitting in my solar plexus, and I'm like, oh fuck, this is not going to be a fun day. So I force myself to stand up and immediately just throw up. No food, it was just like water and shit. And, oh, fuck, talking about it now, again, is making me feel sick. So, you usually feel pretty good after a fucking spew. So, I go back down and lie down for about 20 minutes and feel nauseous again. Get back up for another spew. So, that was the start. This lasted for about an hour or so. Also, throw in some shitting in there as well. Some diarrhea. So, it's not good. It's coming out both ends. And while I was asleep, my wife had organized leaving Guatemala City because we were going to stay the night there again and fucking catching a bus to Antigua. That was at 2.30. So from the time I woke up, I had about four hours to get good enough to catch like an hour and a half fucking shuttle bus to Antigua. And at this stage, I'm not fucking good. I'm not good at all. So I keep throwing up, I throw up for about fucking an hour and a half, two hours, and then my wife's like, why don't we go out, get something to eat? And I'm like, all right, I think I'm feeling good enough. I wasn't, but I also didn't want her to go by herself. So I went, and as soon as I walked into the restaurant, I just walked straight to the toilet, threw up fucking maybe like five times in there. Also did a couple of squirters. I can't even laugh. I don't give a shit. Uh, Then went back to the table and the only thing I could think of eating was a fruit salad. So I got a bowl of fruit and it fucking tasted amazing. By the time we finish the feed and pay the bill and get out of there and fucking get back to the uh, hotel. Hotel's a very big stretch. We stayed in some piece of shit room, like a proper piece of shit room. But by the time we got back, it was like 1.45. So I had 45 minutes to somehow stop throwing up and shitting. And I was not in a fucking good state. So I fucking lie down on the bed. And as soon as I lie down on the bed, the fucking fruit salad comes up. So I just start throwing up the fruit, sal- fruit salad. That's fine. I got as much out as I could. I lie back down on the bed fucking <sighs> almost immediately the fruit salad's still coming up. So I'm just like fucking throwing up again. I go back to bed and I'm just like, I'm sick of feeling this nauseous feeling. And my wife has gone out the front to wait for this shuttle bus. It's meant to come at 2.30, but they said be out there 15 minutes early. This guy could be early or late. He's never on time, but get out there a little bit early. So she's out of the room and I'm like, fuck this nausea. I'm going to do something about it. So... I fucking just went into the toilet. I'm like, oh yeah, you want to be sick? Let's be fucking sick then. And I just fucking force myself to throw up. And then I go lie on the bed for like a minute, two minutes, get over that. And then I'm like, all right, I'm doing it again. And I just fucking force myself to throw up again. Barely anything's coming out now. Just a little bit of stomach lining and some saliva. And I finish that feeling not too bad because you get some endorphins or something from throwing up but i'm like you want to fucking play this game nausea let's fucking play it you want to throw up let's fucking throw up so i get up again force myself to throw up again go back down to the bed get up again a few minutes later 
Now I need to fucking put my fingers down my throat to get anything up. The nausea is sort of gone. So now I'm throwing my fingers down my throat just to throw up. So I did that. I'm getting fuck all up. Just some bile and shit. I go back down. I do that like six or seven times. In the end, I had like two fucking fingers in my throat. The gag reflex wasn't working anymore. I couldn't physically throw up anymore. And I was like, oh yeah, you fucking food poisoning fucking pussy. You got nothing left, do you? And by the end of that, I was absolutely fucking exhausted. I could barely move. But I wasn't nauseous and I wasn't shitting anymore. I was just absolutely fucking zapped. So the bus comes like two minutes after my last spew. I jump in it and it's like one of these little shuttle buses. And I swear to God, if I had jumped in an hour earlier or two hours earlier, the fucking inside of that van would have been painted yellow. There's no fucking way I would have made it through that bus trip two hours prior. But I was all right. Despite complete and utter exhaustion, I was feeling okay. And I made the trip, even though it was like around windy roads and fucking pebble stone fucking shit. There was a lot going on. There was a lot going on in that fucking shuttle bus. But I made it. And as soon as I got into Antigua, I just jumped into bed. And I've been here ever since. My wife's out there having a few beers. She came back with another fruit salad. That's been sitting in my stomach for about an hour now. It hasn't come back up. So I'm going to finish this and then I'm going to go out, meet my wife and try not to hurl over fucking everyone for the next couple of hours. Anyway, that's how you beat fucking food poisoning. You're like, oh yeah, you want to fucking, you want to spew, do you? You want to throw up, do you? How much can you take? (laughs) How much can you take food poisoning? Can you take all of it? So that's all you do. Just fucking take it further than food poisoning is willing to give you. Because if you just sit there and marinate in that fucking nausea, it never ends. But if you fucking force it out, then you can catch an hour and a half shuttle bus that would have killed you two hours earlier. So that's it. I don't know if I uh, would use that as a uh, guideline. I don't know if doctors need to be prescribing that, but that's the Boyle method. If you get sick, just force yourself to be sicker than the sickness. New rules for life. Anyway, I'm fucking out of here and I'll see you the fuck later.